Welcome to the first episode of Friendship Today. I'm Tanner Ramirez. And I'm Xander Medina. Our show is dedicated to telling the stories that are Friendship High School. If you love animals or are interested in construction, well, you'll love to hear what Ag has been up to lately. Check it out. Very successful year in the stock show industry. We had uh, several great champions at major stock shows last year, as long as uh, students placing in the top end of their classes and making a sale at major stock shows. I teach uh, advanced plant soil science, uh, livestock production, small animal management, uh, veterinary medical applications class, and the next semester I'll be teaching equine science. All right. I really didn't know what I wanted to do when I was in college, and I was, I thought, well, an ag teacher has to know a little bit about everything about agriculture. If I know everything about what I, you know, everything about agriculture, then I'll know what I want to do. Never thought I would be a teacher, uh, but here I am 28 years later. Right now, the projects that we're making are for the shop. They're for the school, actually, and we're going to use them. Right now, we're making a jig table so that we can then build other projects and be able to mass produce them. Uh, eventually, we will be making other projects that we will possibly sell or auction off. At the moment, we're building some tables. With these tables, we're actually going to end up using them in our shop for personal use. This is our big project at the moment and then we'll start doing personal projects. When we sell these items, we can use it to go back into the program to purchase more material. Uh, some students will sell their own projects uh, for themselves if they purchase the metal and then they can do with whatever they want. Um, other money will be used for us to go on the trips for the FFA that we go on uh, later in the year. Our challenge is people not only in creative activity but also in constructive thinking and execution. Here's what you'll need to know from Mr. McLean. I've been a teacher for 23 years now and this is my, uh, let's see, 12th year at Friendship. The first work of art I remember, I probably did some scribbling when I was little. Uh, but my dad used to bring home paper from his work and I used to always try and draw Snoopy, Snoopy cartoons. That's kind of how I started. I think art's important because it gives us a chance to be e expressive and creative and it kind of, I, I think I make the best art when I'm bored. So it's kind of a cure for, for boredom. And uh, I just love the whole creative process of creating something new that no one's seen before. Uh, in AP class, we're starting what's called our sustained investigation, and that's just like a series of artwork that each student has to do that's all based on the same theme or topic. So we're just right now uh, selecting the topics that we want to do, and we're starting to get our initial ideas together. But then, once the student starts, the, the teacher's kind of hands off because the student will decide uh, what direction it's going in and what materials they want to use. Wow, great stuff guys. Speaking of creativity, culinary has been off to a great start this year with Miss Gordon. Here's an inside look of what's to come this year. I decided to take culinary arts because I wanted to learn how to cook and I wanted to learn how to like make new and like, like weird foods kinda. My favorite part of, the, of culinary is how like outgoing everybody in my class is. It's very fun because we get to talk to each other and just have fun in there. I plan to use not necessarily culinary arts, but the organization it, te it taught me because it taught me to be very organized with like how it handles certain situations and it taught me how to be like respectful and uh, how to like work in a work environment. I don't necessarily uh, plan to use culinary arts in my future profession, but I do want to use the skills that I learned when communicating. My favorite part of this class is how communicative everyone is and how outgoing everyone is. Everyone just enjoys each other's company. I decided to take culinary arts because I wanted to learn more techniques when I cook and learn more safety strategies. I have a passion for cooking and I love my students to be able to take some of that passion home or find a passion that they didn't have before um, and be able to cook for their families. 
The class required before mine is lifetime nutrition and wellness. And then my class is a prereq if you want to take advanced culinary and then practicum. I hope my students um, find a love for cooking if they didn't before. I hope they take some of these recipes home to their family, um, maybe their future family or in college. I hope that they find they can feed themselves without struggling to come up with a, with a recipe. So this year we are, right now we're into safety sanitation and learning how to handle food properly and, and be safe. Um, but later on we'll get into yeast breads and quick breads and things like cinnamon rolls and muffins. Um, but we'll also do some of the classics like breakfast burritos and kind of casserole type things, all the good stuff. At Friendship, we believe in the Friendship way. Dr. Seuss once said, teeth are always in style. We greet and welcome people with a smile. We say please and thank you with a smile. Connect with others. Listen carefully. Ask questions. Care about others by listening and engaging in conversations. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Talk to people the way you want to be talked to. At Friendship, we are sincere, considerate, and respectful. We go the extra mile to help people in need. Wherever you turn, you can find someone who needs you. Remember, you don't live in a world of your own. To encourage someone means you give him or her the courage or confidence to do something. It is like when my teacher tells me to do my best. We speak enthusiastically and inspire others. The Friendship Way is our standard. It is the collective community of students and teachers whose character is seen as the ordinary. The Friendship Way is seen in every kind of student, every awesome teacher, and every nice gesture. It's our culture. It's our behavior. It is the lens that we look through to serve. This could be real. It's coming! Run! In a world where we watch natural disaster movies instead of preparing for them, a natural disaster could be coming soon to a town near you. So, before you watch another movie trailer, or dresser how-to, or quiche cooking show, or whatever, take a minute and build something that matters. Click below to build a natural disaster plan for your family. Hey, let's check out this park. Find a great local park or forest near you. Go to discovertheforest.org. Friendship Nation! 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 We are the Friendship Bar. City Cheerleaders and you're watching Friendship TV. Woo! One of the most valued professions we have today is law enforcement. If you're interested in the process of learning your bills of rights and what it takes to be a police officer, then here's what you can expect from Mr. Soto and his class. The reason I chose this class is because I want to be in law enforcement after I graduate high school in this May. Uh, I want to be in the criminal justice program in I think Leveland, I'm not 100% sure yet, or Sam Houston. 
Uh, but I've learned a lot in this class. I've learned uh, the different bills of rights, the different ways how to hold a gun, how to approach somebody, different communication skills. And, uh, a little bit more about law enforcement before I go into it without looking like I don't know anything about law enforcement. So I came into this class wanting to learn more about what I'm going to do, what profession I want to do after I graduate. Um, I have law enforcement one, law enforcement two, and I have a courts class. Uh, each one is specifically designed to, the first one's to give you an introduction into the law enforcement world, um, what it is we do in the law enforcement community, um, and to prepare you for the possibility of moving into a law enforcement uh, job. Uh, law enforcement two is more advanced. Uh, those students learn more about law enforcement. They actually get to do a lot more hands-on uh, activities such as uh, more traffic stops, um, clearing buildings, writing reports, things like that. And then my courts class learns a lot about the court system. Uh, they'll have a better understanding of how law enforcement works. Um, they'll have knowledge in arrest, search and seizure, um, how to handcuff, how to conduct traffic stops, uh, how to communicate on a radio, and just overall how, to, uh, how law enforcement uh, works. I've got 15 years total experience in law enforcement. Uh, six of that was as an actual officer. So I've been teaching in general for about 15 years, 14 years through the military and other organizations. Do you need help planning your future? Senior Seminar helps you plan your future with making your resume and helping you with job applications. So the Senior Seminar is a collection of workshops and classes that our graduating class of 2020 can participate in to kind of plan and prepare for their future. So we offer everything from resumes, job applications, how to complete the FAFSA form, how to take the ASVAB test and participate in military service for our country. The most popular sessions this year have been things on how to find an apartment, Credit 101, mental health awareness. So every year we take the feedback that our seniors give us and we plan and prepare for the next year. This year during our opening session, we also did an employer panel where we invited local members of our business uh, and service communities to talk to teens about advice for their future. What they would do if they could go back in time, how they would prepare, what to kind of be on the lookout for in terms of getting a job or being career ready. I think what I really want students to get out of this is to just feel equipped and empowered for their future. We want them to feel ready for what comes ahead in the next seven months, that they have a goal, that they have a plan, and that they have resources at their fingertips that Friendship High School can help provide. Ever wonder what it takes to be a director, cameraman, or even an editor? Well, audio and video class is where it all starts. Here's what you'll need to know from inside the studio with Mr. Rush. Friendship Today is a brand new show that we're starting here at Friendship TV and the, its real purpose is to give good quality experience to second year students in the program and what that does is since it's more of a news based program it gives students the ability to go out and research stories, develop the stories, uh, find the people they need to talk to and grab interviews and then gather footage and come back and then actually apply all of that into a single show so it's teaching them how to do field work and studio work all at the same time. Well years ago uh, before I got here there was a student newscast but it was just done throughout the building and it was more announcements than it was anything and when I got here I decided it was time to, to step it up and take this to a different level. So last year we just let it slide, but this year we're reintroducing the student newscast and it is a newscast regarding things not just happening at the high school, but district wide. And that way the students will have a better feel of what it's like to actually get out there, find stories, develop the stories, produce them, and have them air on our channel and on the web. Yeah, I mean, every student has potential. Every student has potential. All you gotta do is find a way to inspire them and spark that potential in them. So yes, I see lots of potential. Easy for me? Interesting question. <laughs> yes, because this is old hat for me. I mean, I've done this for 44 years. I've been involved in, in radio television and educational television. So 
Yeah, it's fairly easy. The hard part is actually figuring out how to work with the students from time to time because I'm old and they're young. How do I feel about your class? Uh, this class ha it has a lot of strengths and can go a lot of, lot of uh, different directions. So I feel pretty good about the class as long as the students really want to do this because they're at a point now that this is an advanced class. And if they really have an interest in doing this, they're going to do well. If they don't, not so well. But this is where they make the decision about what they want to do for their life. I hope it's media. But if not, that's cool too. Well, Friendship Today is going to be something that I think is going to be really cool. It's going to be us about just what's going on in friendship. We're going to try and do our best to cover as many areas as we can. And we really just want to highlight the people who haven't been highlighted yet. Why did you? Because it's awesome. Like you get to learn so many new things. This this is such a career opportunity, and you can really learn how to um, do things that could literally only be done in the movies. Like you can learn how to do all those effects through this. It takes a lot of skill and character to create something great. Technical theater is a class where you learn from the basics of creating costumes, props, makeup, etc. Here's Mr. Aguirre to tell you all about it. So I've actually been teaching technical theater for as long as I've been teaching theater. Even when my classes weren't specifically called technical theater, I still taught some aspects of technical theater. So. If I count up the years that I've been teaching theater, this will be my sixth, but this is actually my first year teaching an official technical theater class. The design aspect of technical theater is really, really interesting, and of course you start with the, you start with the script. Everything that you make a decision about comes from that script and you think about the tone of the show and you think about the theme of the show and you think about what kinds of shapes and colors will help emphasize those things. So you wanna make sure that you're staying within the bounds of what the script gives you while using your imagination to create other things. So for example, for Puffs, um, I knew that I wanted all of the walls, all of the stone walls that we created, I wanted them to be much warmer in color than um, stone, uh, gray stone castle walls. So all of them were kind of golds and browns and things like that, just to give a much warmer tone to the Puff Common Room for all of these kids who are always happy and kind of silly. We wanted it to feel nice and warm on stage. So Intro to Technical Theater is a really great beginner course and it goes through um, all aspects of technical theater. So we learn about set design, which is what we're doing right now. We're going to learn um, costuming and makeup. We're going to learn um, a little bit of lighting and sound. So just a sort of general overview of what you could expect in technical theater. <laughs> Varsity Cheerleaders, and you're watching Friendship TV. Bring it. You guys later. Mom wants us home. Okay. Bye, guys. You guys need a ride? Sure. Oh, yeah. All right. How about some one on one? Uh, I gotta go eat, man. 
Sorry, I'll, I'll see you later. This is the story of a boy who didn't talk for a long time. The boy liked things to always be the same. Any changes would scare and upset him. The unknown was an unfriendly place. The boy was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. He wasn't trying to be mean, it just made him feel uncomfortable. Sometimes he would flap his arms again and again. One day I found out I have something called autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I found my voice and learned all the way I could live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Teenage use of vaping has had a dramatic increase in just a single year. 37% of 12th graders have used a vaping device in the past 12 months, compared to just 27.8% in 2017. More than 1 in 10 8th graders, 11%, say they vaped nicotine in the past year, and use is up significantly in virtually all vaping measures among 8th, 10th, and 12th graders. Reports of past year marijuana vaping also increased this year, at 13% for 12th graders, up 8% from last year. Friendship ISD wants the best for its community, campuses, and students. Like cigarettes, vaping for anyone under the age of 21 is illegal. Therefore, possessing or using any type of tobacco product, electronic cigarettes, or any other electronic vaporizing device while on school property at any time or while attending an off-campus school-related activity is prohibited. Use or possession of such devices is a serious disciplinary infraction and will result in disciplinary consequences, according to the Student Code of Conduct. Please help us keep our campuses safe and free from these dangerous devices. Football season was great this year, but unfortunately, it's time to move on. That's right, wrestling season starts soon with Coach Wood as him and his team are really looking forward to rebuilding and getting back out on the mat this year. We had about 30 kids uh, yesterday on a Tuesday, uh, just voluntary show up. Most of them are new and young and non-football players for the most part, except some of the freshmen are in there. Uh, most of those, some of those are returners and they're kind of running a practice and showing a few things that uh, to these young kids and these new kids that are coming in. Um, so we're really excited about the possibilities of these, uh, this new blood coming into the program. Uh, we've had some kids work out through the summer um, with results training. Um, we've had kids that are in, UFC and grappling, uh, they're doing all kinds of stuff, so it's uh, really come a long way. Uh, we got a lot of compliments by the end of the year that we definitely didn't look like a first year team to begin with, so we're really excited on building on that, those foundations and going into our second year. How do I put this? We looked like unorganized monkeys, just throwing each other around. This year, we're slightly less unorganized monkeys. We actually know what we're doing most of the time. Uh, pro behind me, you can probably see somebody getting pinned, I guarantee you. He's taught us so much last season. We learned so many moves. We won a lot of matches last year. I know it was a good year last year, and this year, he's really stepped up his game. He's allowing us to come out here and get back into the swing of things before practice really starts next week. Uh, we're going to start November. We have some scrimmages. We're going over to Lubbock High. Estacado's coming over here for some scrimmages and kind of running a practice with them. Um, and then uh, really Thanksgiving, uh, we have some opportunities. If we have some people that we feel that are ready, we could actually start competing in Thanksgiving where we didn't start until December last year. We could start a few weeks earlier um, uh, with the time that we have and some of the experience that we have.
Now, I've said this to a lot of people, but I've never had someone regret not trying it. Uh, there is, it's one-on-one, -on -one. there's no excuses. I think that's one of the neatest things. Uh, in today's society, it's a little bit different because you're not gonna win unless you earn it. Um, it's a physical sport, it's a tough sport. So you're gonna be a, a whole different person. It's a whole different mindset. It is a combat sport. Um, I think for the girls' side, it's, it's uh, somewhat even a, a type of self-defense. Uh, they feel so much more confident and control of themselves that they can handle themselves in certain situations if the need arises. Uh, and I think that's awesome. I think that's great, and it's great for our sport. Tigers on three. One, two, three. Tigers! Looking for a job and can't find one? Friendship has a program that will help you get a job at the local United Express. Here's more information about it. Um, I'm trying to teach them uh, work experience so that they can get a job after graduation. So I'm trying to teach them work ethic, um, just all those kind of things. We started four years ago. So the overall goal for this is so that they can get a job. So that's for them to gain work experience and hopefully they can either get a job here or they can um, get a job somewhere else so that they can have just a super impressive resume, um, you know, just wherever. So. So they um, stock shelves, um, so every, well they've changed it recently, so every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday they get a truck coming in, so they stock the shelves from um, the incoming truck, um, they clean the tables, um, they sweep, um, dust shelves, they run the cash register, or not run it, but they help assist you know, with the cash register, um, they greet customers, um, just customer service. Just, you know, basically anything that a regular employee would do here, they pretty much do. Um, aside from just, you know, being on their own at the cash register. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, they're, they're, they're used to just coming in and buying something versus now they know how, to, how the store runs. You know, they don't know the, the background of, you know, paperwork and all that stuff, but they're used to coming in now and knowing you know, they, they walk in and they say, oh, something's in the wrong place now. And so they know to come in and move something whenever it's in the wrong spot. I mean, they can come in now and, um, you know, we have some students last year who came in and, and worked here. And then the manager here um, now wants to hire them. And so, or um, they can work here. They have an impressive resume. So now they can go out and get a job somewhere else. Thanks for watching the show today. If you have any story ideas, we'd love to hear about it. So please contact us by email or give us a call and we'll see you on the next edition of Friendship Today. A redhead <gasps> staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Friendship TV.